61A, lecture number 23, announcements. I know it's quite a stressful time with a lot of complication. Just to reiterate what I put in my email this weekend, if you need to take a break from 61A this week and next week, that's okay. I've tried to arrange policies so that you can do that. I know tons of students are traveling home. So far, about 10% of students have asked to be excused for midterm two, and all of the requests so far have been granted that I've reviewed so far, and I expect to grant all the rest of them as well. But if you wanna keep going with the course, we're doing our best to support you, and we will still have assignments and exams as planned, because for some of you, it might be that the best thing to pay attention to is the stuff you can control and make progress on in your own life, which might be CS61A. So if you can find time for it, great. If you can't, just worry about getting settled and 61A will still be there after spring break. Okay, on to the details. There's now a shelter in place order in Alameda County, which means that we can no longer hold in-person office hours. Office hours are online only and by appointment here at oh.cs61a.org. There are many appointments available at the moment. So if you'd like to get some help with lab or homework, why not grab an appointment? We've extended their length they used to be 10 minutes, now they're 13, with a couple minute buffer in between. So if you run over by a minute or two, you're not eating into somebody else's time. Homework five is due Tuesday, but we've changed the policy so that your two lowest homework scores will be dropped, which means you can skip this homework without penalty if you're busy doing something else. But if you do it, then you can skip something else later on, or you can always complete more homeworks than you have to, which is a great way to learn. Lab eight has been released with solutions, you can look up those solutions. You're not cheating. We're releasing them to you so that you can use them any way you want. Also, your three lowest lab scores will be dropped, so you can skip this one entirely, and it probably won't affect your course grade in any way. Midterm 2 will be held on Thursday, starting at 7, 10 p.m. That was the plan from the beginning of the semester, and I know many people have held that time on their calendars. I think it's very unlikely at this point that we will offer any alternate times. Some students have extended time, but no exams will start before 7, 10 p.m. And I think we'll probably just run them all at once because there's enough logistics to coordinate that coming up with multiple different times is just gonna to lead to more chaos. If you're a DSP student and you have some special arrangement to take it the next day or something like that, we will coordinate those cases individually. If you wanna know more about the format of the exam, watch the announcement videos from the last two lectures. This is lecture 23. Last week was lecture 22. And here are all these announcements about the midterm that I went over in detail. And if you go back one more day, here's even more stuff, most of which is redundant with here on Friday. So since I've said it all once, I won't say it again, except that it is a new kind of exam that we've never run before, where you'll actually be using a computer and a Python interpreter and CS61A.org, which means that you can check your work as you go using Python, although the questions will be quite similar to the fill in the blank questions on previous exams. If you can't take the midterm from home because you don't have the right setup, or you can't make that time, you're traveling, you're taking care of other people, whatever it is, or you wish to be excused because the stress of this situation is overwhelming and you need to focus on yourself instead of taking yet another computer science exam, then just fill out the midterm two excuse request form by tomorrow. About 10% of students have filled it out already and that's fine with me. All reviewed requests have been granted so far, and if you need some kind of pressure release in your life, or you don't think you can perform your best on this midterm, then go ahead and ask to be excused. Now this will not advantage you or disadvantage you in terms of your final grade in the course. I will estimate your midterm two score, what it would have been using your final exam score, which does mean that there's more uncertainty in your life if you don't take midterm two, and also your final exam will matter more for your final grade. So those are the reasons why you might wanna go ahead and take midterm two. Also, I think it's great preparation for the rest of the course to learn everything you can about what we've covered so far and take this exam to check your work. So if you have space in your life to do it, do it. If not, ask to be excused. There's my dog barking in the background. My life has certainly gotten more complicated because of this shelter at home policy. But one thing that is keeping me going and getting me excited is to see how it goes with this new midterm two experiment where you all try to take an exam about computer science where you actually get to use a computer.
What a thought. Some more information about proctoring will be shared soon. We're still running some experiments among the staff to figure out what technology is least intrusive and most effective. The truth is that most of you are not going to cheat on this exam, even if we don't proctor it at all. But there's that lingering feeling that maybe somebody else will. And that's a terrible feeling. So my goal in proctoring is to be thorough enough that you, the many honest students out there who wouldn't cheat anyway, can be assured that nobody else is cheating either. Now, no exam proctoring system is perfect, but we are going to try hard to make it reasonably secure so that you can feel like the right thing to do is to just go ahead, take the exam according to the rules that I specify, which are coming soon, do your best to show what you know, solve some problems, and not think about collaborating with other people. There will not be a Wednesday lecture, and today's lecture is just going over some details of Python that people tend to miss along the way, and some old exam problems. Now, some of these problems aren't the type of problems you'll see on the midterm this semester, because I do have some environment diagram stuff and some what would Python display stuff built into this lecture. And I was thinking about replacing it. But the truth is that in order to fill in the blank correctly, you have to know how the programming language really works. So I'm going to keep these examples in here, and I suggest you watch them so that you know exactly what append and extend and all these things do. And that way you can use them effectively if you want on the exam. Okay, I've said enough, I think. I wish you all the best. Stay healthy, wash your hands, and if you need help, reach out. On to the content.